guys purchase your If a guy's always on my case trying to be up in my face What I call that guy, he a pussy watch man Got the line an unknown called another 50 times That's a crime on my life, he a pussy watch man Hello, 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 it's me Lonnie Good Oh my god, I feel like it's been such a long time since I like woke up and thought Today is the day I'm gonna do a story time. It's been so long, guys. I've missed you guys. If you're a returning subscriber, you know I F you heavy. Love you so much. Love you so much. And if you've never heard of me, then oh, I don't know for you. And you know, <laughs> low key, you're like a you know, you're like an idiot. Not gonna, not gonna lie to you. But yeah, what's going on? I've missed you guys. I'm here. And do you know what? I'm here to do a very, very juicy storyline. However, I have to say, I have to say, this storyline, this storyline, sorry, to do a very juicy story. But the difference with this story compared to um, my recent story that I did last year that all of you know about is, um, so this story is about somebody who's extremely famous. <laughs> this is just water. I just need it for my throat because I know like it's going to be a mazzalina. But this story is about somebody famous um the thing is i was never going to tell this story the same way i was never going to tell the story about that boy but at the same time i have to think to myself i've done almost a story time on almost every single person i've encountered every single person i've dated why does it why should someone just because they're famous not get a story time on them do you know what i'm saying at the end of the day as long as i don't say names i don't see what's wrong with it i'm not going to say names and i'm going to try and keep clues completely out like loads of clues out so you lot don't clock who it is but before we start the story time, I'm going to need some sort of... I'm going to need some sort of promise from you guys that you're going to behave yourselves. So what we're going to do before we start the story time or whatever is we're going to do an allegiance. Right? So repeat after me. Everybody, repeat after me and put your hand up. Everybody, say, I swear that I will not try and put the tantalizing pieces of the puzzle together and guess who the story time is about good 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 you did it didn't you you did it didn't you you did it didn't you of course you did okay so you know very easy guys what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do so i'm gonna talk about a story time however because i don't want you to clock okay i feel like i'm not making sense i'm still like i'm not making sense okay before we start the story time disclaimer huge disclaimer this story time as fun and juicy as it is we i don't want you to clock who it is and the reason i don't want you to clock who it is is because this person is way more famous than Mr. Bad Boy of Infamy, Tion. Do you get it? Way more famous than that person. This person is known by your dad. This person is known by your granddad. This person is known by your grandma. This person is known by the queen. This person is known by the entire blood clot country, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not, I, I'm not trying to um, be on the Sun newspaper or, or ITV news or um, get sued for every blood color so no names no names and no clues i'm gonna change some details if he's watching this hey boo <laughs> yeah hey <laughs> and if he's watching this i just want you to know that you was like a really great experience and like i'm not gonna lie to you you should shout me you should shout me again because i miss you <laughs> i miss you all right cool so uh <laughs> So cool, like, we're gonna start the story time. Now, for obvious reasons, obvious reasons, I'm not gonna name the, the period this happened in. Because, I mean, it, to me it's obvious, because I know it's obvious. I'm not gonna even say when it was, I'm not gonna say what year it was, I'm not gonna say it was this year, I'm not gonna say it was last year, I'm not gonna say if it was two years ago, because I feel like me saying that is still a clue, if you get what I'm saying. So we're just gonna start from there. I'm not even gonna say his race because that is a huge clue. <laughs> ah! Woo! I ain't trying to give you you hoes no clues. Like I'm sorry. Like I'm not trying to end up with a sunny newspaper. Like, what the fuck you talking about? No, sorry. So this no the race saying his race. If I say 
he's raised, it's game over for me. It's game over for me. I will say this though. Um, what, made, what inspired me to do this story time is that um, I was thinking about it anyway in the back of my head because I feel like as much as the Tion chapter is low-key behind me, you know, I like to throw a few banterous, entertaining things here and there, do you know what I mean? Just to make everyone laugh. Um, and also I like to laugh at my trauma at this point, I don't give a F. But um, it's time to, there's more to me than what happened with me and Tion, like I'm, you know what I mean, there's more to me, I'm a, I'm an interesting human being, I'm funny, I've been through other stuff, I've dated other people, like there's more to me, so I just feel like it's time for me to, like, we, we, can, we can go to the next, the next chapter ball, like, do you, do you get what I'm saying, we can go to the next chapter ball, so yeah, um, so, um, yeah, the reason I was encouraged to tell this story is because I saw an advert. I'm sure it was an advert, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if it was on YouTube. I don't know if it was on TikTok. Me, I don't know. I, don't, I can't lie to you. Me, I don't know. I saw an advert and he was in it. I didn't pay attention to the advert, so I can't tell you what the details are. I ain't got a fucking clue. So, it's Christmas, so there's a lot of adverts going on. So, you know. But, um, anyway, let's let the story begin. Let the story begin. So this story is about a footballer that had a huge... I, I was basically... What do you call a girl? Groupie! Mm, girl. Let me tell you about the time I was a groupie for this this this, this guy. <laughs> I, just, oh, I just can't believe I let this, this one go. But anyway, sorry. Let me tell you about the one time I was a groupie for this guy. Baby, I hope you're watching. And I hope I do the story justice, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so anyway, um... I was watching ITV or Channel 4 or BBC 1 or BBC 2. Definitely wasn't Channel 5 because I don't think... Channel 5 doesn't really show football, do they? Does Channel... ITV does. ITV and BBC 1 show football. I'm pretty sure. So I was watching one of those in the morning. It was like 11 in the morning. And um, they were interviewing... Yeah, they were interviewing, you know, <laughs> a fella. <laughs> God! They were interviewing this fella, and um, let's just say, I just looked at him and I thought, fucking hell, he's Leng. Not only is he Leng, like, I'm not going to lie to you, us women, like, we, we can be naturally attracted. It's just, do you know, like, genetically and bi biologically, women um, are attracted to men who... Um, are successful because as a woman naturally like just instinctively we are nurturers we give birth to children we look after people and men are providers and they protect so when we see a successful man we just our body associates that and our, our you know our you know our fluids um, associate that with protection with um someone that can look after you someone that can just 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 a strong man and it's very very attractive so not only is he gorgeous on top of that he's successful like he, what the f like oh my god like i just had the hugest crush on him and um obviously i'm not gonna lie to you like this is at the time i think i had like twit i almost fucked up damn so at the time <laughs> I almost fucked up, guys. I'm sorry. At the time, I had a certain amount of followers. And he was in the millions. Let's just say that. Definitely in the millions, but, like... I'm not going to tell you how many. Just a lot. F, F off amount, yeah? More than, more than a million, yeah. More than two. More than three. <laughs> so, um... Anyway, calm. So, he was in, an, like, an F off amount. So, what I did is I started following him. As, as me and millions of other people did and uh, i was just like looking at his photos and i thought oh 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 daddy, <laughs> daddy. <laughs> so um i don't know one night i was just feeling silly and i thought i'm gonna dm i'm gonna dm daddy so um i don't even think i said anything crazy i think i dm'd him saying um hey I can't remember it wasn't anything crazy so oh, this story is really weird do you know why this story is weird this story is weird you're gonna clock why this story is weird in a minute so um 
I, I DM'd him saying, hey, whatever. And then, um, obviously, I didn't get a reply. <laughs> I mean, this guy's, like, big time. So, I carried on with my life. But then, now, I need to rewind because it's relevant to the story. You guys are going to be like, what the F? Because it's crazy. But I was at a party two weeks before I DM'd this brother. And it was this very good looking guy there and um i was there with my one of my one of you know one of my girls one of my hoes and whatever and um when the party finished he invited us to his um we was in central london and they had an apartment in central <laughs> you didn't understand if someone has an apartment in, in friggin you know chelsea and all them areas then you know the, the bread is long but they had an apartment in chelsea or whatever and then he just told me, like, you should, lot should come. I don't usually go to um, boys' apartments. I don't really usually do the after-party thing. I don't really... I don't do, like, one-night stands. That's that's not really me. I'm, like, a big soppy romantic, right? So um, I was just like, well, he wants us to go there to F. Like, I'm not on it. So I gave him my number, and we were talking, talking every almost every day. I'm not going to lie to you. As cute as he was, and I do want to say that he was a very attractive young man. He was a very attractive young man. He just wasn't my type. I think at the time, I liked darkies even oh i'm not gonna give too many clues but i mean in my general life i like dark dark skin boys that doesn't mean that that's all i went for like you could t you definitely could turn me but um he wasn't cute enough to turn me i suppose so i don't know but i gave it a shot we used to talk every day and then he invited me and my friend to come chill at his i think the reason he invited us to come chill at his is because he wanted to show off because what he was giving was really wow you know like any girl that went there would take that pipe simply because she might want someone to pay her pay her rent because um of course their apartment is in chelsea but not only is in chelsea their apartment is like f off beautiful and f off it, I, I, it's not a regular apartment do you understand this this apartment is basically like where the rich stay it's not like what you no offense but it's not like what you see on like regular rappers and people have like this person is a this person is worth like who in freaking knows like 80 million like bro like this apartment is maza like a mazzalina so i feel like he invited a lot of girls there and which makes sense i would do the same if i was him he invited a lot of girls there straight away rather than taking them on a date just so he showed the girls this is what i'm working with are you gonna give me some of that poussoir do you understand so um we went there me and my friend we, and then i think me and him uh, eventually went upstairs to kiss and that um, I don't remember him actually having quite a big whatever. We didn't have sex, but he made me touch it. Um, but nothing actually then happened at all because I just wasn't, I just didn't like him that much. And at the point that he met me in my life, I had been, I had dated like one or two rich boys anyway. Um, and I dated a footballer before him. He's not a footballer, but I had, I had dated a footballer. Before I met this guy, I had, I had dated a, like an entrepreneur and I dated a footballer and the footballer was F off rich and the footballer I dated was from Brum and I remember going to his apartment and his apartment was like the size of <sighs> like I don't know like the size of Matalan it was like the size of Matalan it was huge like and I have just never seen money and wealth like that in my life so I, I, I kind of even though this person might have had more money or the whatever where I'm basically the point I'm trying to make is someone being worth 10 million and someone being worth 20 million they can pretty much afford the same type of stuff you know what I mean so I'd already seen money so money didn't gas me as much so I didn't really I didn't, I didn't off my pants basically I wasn't one of them girls because I'd, I'd seen it I suppose so I wasn't as excited or whatever so anyway eventually i just i think i just told him like i can't remember what excuse i gave him but i gave him an excuse because i didn't want to get to know him i didn't want to talk to him anymore cut a long story short cut a long story short um so we we're gonna go back to the football i remember i was on the footballers page now i'm on the football on the footballers page i've already dm'd him i'm scrolling deep on this footballers page tell me why at the bottom of the page the bottom 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 he talks about his assistant he talks about his assistant he talks about his personal assistant guess whose personal assistant is the guy i was at the apartment with two weeks ago is his personal assistant aha uh -huh. 
The guy I've curved is his personal assistant. Do you understand where I'm coming with this? So the, the money I was seeing wasn't even the PA's money. That was my man's money. This is how these niggas stay. They be lying to y'all. They be lying to us. It wasn't even his bread. The apartment wasn't, wasn't even his. It wasn't his money, y'all. So anyway, cut a long story short. But the footballer wasn't there when I went there. Do you get where I'm, where I'm going with this? Because that's his side house. That is his side house. Where I was was his side house. Because his money long. So, you know, he had, he had you know, he, he can just buy anything. So, anyway. Um, anyway, like, whatever. I wasn't interested in that guy. This guy was, the, the, the footballer was probably not going to reply to me. So I decided, it's cool. I'm just going to carry on with my life and go to bed. Anyway. Let's just say about a month or two months later, it was a while later, it was a while later, um, I got a reply. I got a reply, I don't remember what it said, I just remember blacking out. Mm -hmm. Girl, I blacked the F out. I couldn't believe it. You don't understand, like, I'm just gonna put this to the equivalent for me at the time, whenever it was, guys, as, like, Drake has just replied to me, like, Drake, like, do you know what I mean? So I was, I was like, what the fuck? So I didn't even play it cool. I wish, oh God, I wish I got this when I was older. But I didn't play it cool. I acted like a fan. I acted like a groupie. Um, I've learned the hard way. I just want to give you guys a piece of advice, you beautiful young ladies watching me. If you ever get a celebrity um, checking for you or a rich nigga or a rich guy, I don't know, it could be Jack Carlo. It could be friggin', like I said, Drake. It could be Meek Mill. Play it cool. You can be screaming and dying inside. Play it cool. I like you don't care. Like what? Yeah. If you take it to a restaurant where literally like the friggin' bread, like one piece of bread, costs five hundred pounds, act like you. That's what you do. You do that every day, bitch. You've been to this restaurant. You was here last week. What are you talking about? Like don't ever make someone. Don't ever act up. Don't ever put someone on a pedal so it's not attractive. But I was young. So that's what I did. This guy, um, I, di I, didn't, I didn't know why he replied. I think in my brain, I thought he replied out of boredom. But now, obviously, I know the full story. He was actually trying to, like, get to know me. And I couldn't, ha I was so excited. I was, oh my God. <laughs> I was so excited and was just wrong. Like, what the F? I just wish someone calmed me down. Another thing I want to tell you guys, is because I DM'd him, and because I was young and I never pursued a boy before, I didn't want anyone to know, so none of my friends really knew. Like, no one knows. This story I'm telling you right now, none of my brethren know. That's why you could never find out who it is. Because no one knows. No one knows. No one knows. I don't, maybe my best friend knows. I don't think anyone knows this story. Because we never, my friends never talk to me about this guy, ever. Because no one knows. My friends usually come back and show me, so let's just say like I've, I used to talk, not not necessarily slept with, but I used to talk to an, a bait dude that's not, you know, Tion, whatever, and he's doing some stupidness on the internet. My friends will show me, like, look at this you. Do you get it? Like, because obviously, oh, yeah, I should chat to him or whatever. But they don't show me my man because they don't know about my man. Do you get it? No one knows. So you guys can never find out. If you know someone that knows me and says, who's only talking about? You can never find out, ho, because no one knows ho except me. Anyway, he then asked for my number. He asked for my number! <sighs> I really hope he watches this story time because I've really died. But um, he really asked for my number and I really had a heart attack. Yeah, I really died, guys. Like, I really actually died. Like, I really thought, like, <laughs> like what the fuck? Um, so he asked for my number and he ended up ringing me. And I ended up literally hyperventilating on the phone. Like, the conversation, like, let's just pretend the conversation is like... And he's just like, yo, like, you are right. And I was just like, oh my! so excited oh my god i was just <sighs> god it's just fucking stupid how i acted what is wrong with me what is wrong with me and he wasn't even the first he was the biggest 100 he's the he was the biggest footballer i don't even think i could who's bigger than him i mean like unless i get to chat to Thierry Henry I don't really see how I can beat this do you understand so um Thierry Henry 
<laughs> I've DM'd him too. Tara and Ree, like, reply to me. But yeah, um... So I was so excited, like, no cap. And, um, it was just really embarrassing. I did way too much on the phone. I was like, ah! Oh my god, oh my god! And then he basically said to me, so he doesn't, this is the only clue you mother effers are gonna get. The only clue you mother effers are gonna get. He did say to me, like, okay, so he didn't, his team, I can't believe I'm giving you this clue. It's like, it's a big clue, but it's not a big clue because there's a lot of teams. But, um, the team he plays for isn't in London. That's all I'm gonna say. So he basically said to me, do you wanna come here? Or do you want me, or, or I can come there when I've got a, uh, I think it's an away game. So when you're playing in your thing, like in your um, town, or they come to your stadium, it's called a home game. And then when you go away, it's an away game. So he said, I can come when I've got an away game. Uh, so, um, look at me smiling. Oh, glorious. It's just good memories. So, um, he was so nice to me, guys. So nice to me. Oh. And I remember when he gave me his number, he obviously said, don't give my number out. And in my head, I'm thinking, don't be daft. Like, <laughs> I'm not stupid. Like, you're a whole, you know. So, yeah, so he... He said, um, you can come here or I can go there. And I was thinking, you're going to let me come there? And he goes, yeah, come. Come see me. Um, and then he asked for a nude. He was a naughty boy, guys. He was a naughty boy. So I sent him a nude, but at this time, I wasn't that filthy of a girl. I was still a bit young. So, like, if I sent you a nude, it would be like this. Like, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't, like, show you myself, like, proper nude or, like, touching myself or something. And he just wanted the, like, X-rated filthy stuff straight off the bat. And, um... I just thought to myself, oh my god, like I was really overwhelmed, but I fancied the F out of him. So I tried. I can't remember what I sent him, but I sent him something. Anyway, cut long story short, a week later, two weeks later, he had an away game in London. And they were staying in a hotel in Canary Wharf. And um, he told me to come there. So what I did is I drove to Canary Wharf, I parked in the car park, and I walked. And all I'm gonna say is I pulled up to this hotel that I didn't even know existed. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Maybe it's cause like, I just wouldn't go there. Um, when I go to nice hotels, it just has never been this one. Um, this one was like, wow. Um, I walked in there and the security was tight as F. There was like butlers everywhere. It was just posh. I didn't even know it existed. They was like, what's it called when you, you pull up to a hotel and there's those people that like get your car and they go park it at the corner. There was all of that. Like, it was like, like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air type of shit. Do you not understand? And I've seen money, but like, I feel like us black people, we tend to go to the same, like Novotel and I don't, I don't know, but we say, we tend to go to the same hotels and restaurants but people with real dough, real money, like you, some of the places they go to, you've never heard of because they're so members only. Do you get where I'm coming from? They're so exclusive. So I, I never even heard about this hotel. I didn't even know it existed, all right? I went in there. It was just like opulent and opulent and opulent. I'm not going to lie to you. It just looked like money and wealth. Anyway, I got in there and he told me what floor to come to. Can you believe it? I've never seen this boy. And the first time I've seen him, I'm going to his hotel room. <laughs> my chest my heart my chest my heart my anxiety was on like a, a, a hundred thousand like a hundred i couldn't breathe guys i literally needed to do diarrhea like i'm not even gonna hold you i just couldn't believe it like what the f what's going on so anyway i went to the floor guys i it just I, I i'm telling you the story like it's anything but i was i really couldn't breathe my heart was really going ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom ba boom like really legit my heart was going ba boom 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 like this i don't think you guys are deeping this like i'm talking about in my experience like comp not um a normal person's experience but in my experience this is my crush like lidge this is my crush so i don't know who you don't have a crush on but imagine if you have a crush on messi yeah or friggin Ren um, ronaldo and Ronaldo has said, come link me. You, what the f fuck? Seriously. Do you know what I'm saying? Or even a terrific Tiyari on way. I just... 
I just couldn't believe it. So we got there, right? I got there right to the door. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I just, I'm just, while I'm reliving this, I just can't breathe. I just can't. It's just a lot for me right now. I can't believe I did this. Even if I did this now, I could I could never do this now. The balls I had to go link a boy I had I had hardly spoken to. I said basically a celebrity I had a huge crush on, and the first time I'm meeting him is in a room. What the fuck am I was I thinking? So yeah, we so anyway, knocks on the door. He opened the door. God. Ah. Oh, Jesus. I don't even remember what, like, um, okay, okay, let me just, sorry guys, I'm just like, wow, like, I'm really, like, in the moment, um, I'm gonna tell you what I remember, because I'm not gonna remember it verbatim, it was a very long time ago, what I de definitely remember is, um, seeing him, he had his top off, bastard, he had his top off, Okay, I'm not gonna give clues. Like, I was gonna say something, but then I don't know how many footballers have what I was about to say, so was, I'm not doing that. But I just remember analyzing him. Ugh, damn. Let me Google it. I wanna Google this, because I wanna see if I'm gonna bait it out if I say what I was gonna say. One sec, one sec, one sec. The one sec, I'm not, gonna, I'm not effing up. I'm not effing up. I'm not effing up. I'm not effing up. Yep. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh,
I was so nervous. Oh my god, oh, I, what the f uh, So that happened, and then, um, if you, okay, you guys don't know who it is, but I might as well give you details. He has a very nicely sized schlong, if you want to know that. Obviously, you don't know who it is, but he has a very nice schlong. Um, he's just gorgeous boy, just clean and gorgeous and oh well mannered and can you marry me like seriously if you guys were, if you guys link this boy you would literally be like can you marry me as well because he's just the best and he talks a little bit more hood in person than he does you know like when you're a really big footballer like i guess sometimes you're a bit whitewashed to a certain extent because you want everyone to feel comfortable with your persona especially when you play for um a team where you've got such a vast vast um what's the word i'm looking for when you've got such a vast v like vast 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 um fan base from different cultures and you know it's predominantly obviously english and the majority of people that like you are English and you do a lot of stuff for the English yeah so he was a lot more whitewashed on telly I think in person he was a little he's a little bit more hood he showed where he came from kind of bit kind of thing so like I said I did the answer whatever to him and then I don't I, guys I'm trying to remember like this is really bad I think I think I got on top but like that is really a lot for me because i was nervous and i have no stamina so that happened and then i think it was missionary and he was kissing me it was like making love oh my god guys i literally i'm gonna die like literally gonna die he was like making love to me and then he dogged me and then what the fuck it was great it was great but it was weird I just have to say that if you're watching this, I just want you to know it was weird because, like I said, I've never, I, like, I don't even, I don't have sex without a connection. I don't have sex without um, being in love. So it was weird. It was so weird. But I got, I got what I needed out of it, and it gave me a buzz. Um, I learned a lot about myself because I'd never done it before. I think I learned a lot about myself and the fact that I do want to get to know someone, I do want to have a connection with someone. But at the end of the day, if this was going to be my one experience, it was lit. It was lit. Um, then we cuddled on the sofa and we watched Kevin Hart. Oh, that's another clue. Why am I telling you when it was? Why am I telling you when it was? But yeah, we watched Kevin Hart. We laughed a lot about Kevin Hart. And then I... It, this was me internally. Really, it wasn't him. He didn't do anything to... He had a match the next morning. Can you imagine? He didn't do anything to make me feel uncomfortable. But I was so nervous. The first time I'd seen him... Do you get it? So, like, I just felt like I had to go. I had to feel, I just felt like I'm intruding his space. Does he not want me here? So I left... He then t he texts me saying, what? no, he texts me when I left and said, make sure you text me when you get home. I, just, I need a moment. I need, need a moment. Why are you being nice to me? Why are you being nice to me? Guys, I just, he was just amazing. He was treating me, I can't explain it. You know when I, when, what's the word for a hoe, a yap? You know when a guy doesn't rate a girl, like they, what the F, like. He, he is just a gentleman, he just has respect for women because he did not wine and dine me. Like he met me in the DMs, I threw myself at him. I was literally a groupie, a fanny girl. Sorry guys, my name is blocked. I was literally a groupie and a fangirl and he was so lovely to me and do you know another thing that I really rate about him I just I hope he watches this he probably won't but he probably will though probably will because come on like you're gonna watch it because someone is gonna clock it to you and someone's gonna send it to you and say is this about you and you're gonna watch it I know you will I just want to say that he made me feel so at ease and he didn't disrespect me even though I was acting like a fan I was acting like a fan girl and some of the reasons i'm so 
cool because a lot of like i sometimes see how i was with him sometimes i see people that can be a little bit low-key like that with me and um they can get a little bit uncomfortable uncomfortable around me or they think when they meet me in person they might think that i'm very like big-headed or not that don't get me wrong me and him i can't compare like he's like legit like a1 but like i still get it to a certain extent especially from like school kids and i always have to show respect because like you know people teach how to treat people and he was so just like so much um what's the word when someone's got so much i don't, I don't, I don't know what the word is i don't know what the word is just decorum i i ain't got i'm not sure but um he, he just treated me like a, a, a human being they are guys who treat regular guys on the block who treat girls more disrespectful even if the girl isn't on them and the girl just wants to have maybe casual sex or one night stand that are guys who are far worse there are guys who take a girl out um three four times and then finally get sex and be ruder than he was and i can literally was a fangirl a groupie and he was so respectful um thank god that was my experience with someone like that he was so wonderful i texted him when i got home he replied bro like he didn't have i don't think you guys understand who i'm talking about this guy is like a list like i was just just he's such a good person and it's just one of those memories in my brain. I wish I could relive it, I'm not gonna lie. But it's one of those memories in my brain that I um, I see as positive. And I, it's, it's a nice memory. It's a nice memory. Would I have a one night stand again? Hell to the no. It, it, even if it's Obama, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna hold you. I don't give a fuck. It could be Obama, it could be Drake. I don't give a what, I don't give a what. I don't give a fuck. Um, it doesn't do anything for me. Like I said, I really like to have connections. I don't, so I really don't care about clout and none of that stuff. Um, however, it's nice to know that I don't care about that 150 million percent because I've had it. Like sometimes people say stuff, but you don't know until you've been in that situation. And because I've been in that situation, I definitely know that I prefer to have a connection with someone because I'm not because there was anything wrong with him or me. But what was wrong in that situation is that I was so nervous, I was so uncomfortable, and I, I don't want to be. I always be nervous about around someone I like, but I don't want to be so nervous and so uncomfortable that I'm literally I'm shaking. That doesn't make no sense. That's not cute, and that doesn't make me feel good. That and it should, I shouldn't feel so honored that you've texted me back. That's not okay. The whole hierarchy and the pedestal that I put him on, like that's just not. It's just too much for me. But I was young. But yeah, so that was what happened. He's he, and then a couple weeks later, I just need to explain this to my babies in case he watches. A couple weeks later, um, I ended up blocking him because we spoke a bit back and forth he said he wanted to see me again oh i must have given him really good slappy talk am i gonna lie to you yes girl <laughs> you know a bitch a, a bitch know how to do it a bitch good like i just want to i just want you guys to know that a, a bitch good a bitch know what she doing I me mean, when i used to do it because i oh it's been a while but um i, I don't have I, I don't have sex anymore i don't i don't participate in such activities um but yeah so I feel like, you know, obviously he probably clocked I was a sweet girl. It was a really good night. Um, but then I just had a feeling that I had, to, I had to sit down to myself and think to myself, he likes you to a certain extent. He probably thinks you're cute and maybe innocent low-key and probably enjoyed it. So he probably does want to see you again. Maybe more than once, maybe more than twice, maybe more than three times. Maybe he'll see you for six months. Maybe he'll see you for four years. Maybe you'll be his side thing. Maybe one day you'll be his main thing. Who knows? But I had to sit down and talk to myself. And basically, I said that I, I, I sat down and I had to reason with myself. And what the conclusion I came to... Oh my God, do you know he... he oh, oh, I can't give you that clue. Oh, damn. Sorry. Never mind. Never mind. The conclusion I came to you after all of it was I predict that he is going to um he is going to um enjoy what what you're offering um like I said you're sweet you probably he probably finds you appealing like physically you give him what he needs 
um he might even spend a little bag on you because he's got it like he's so rich so he might even spend a little bag with you he might throw the other football i dated he he like had a whole wife i didn't even know but he had a whole wife and he used to f throw a bag at me every time he saw me so this one and this one is like 10 20 50 times richer than him so girl yeah on christmas you you might see three grand in your account like he might nice you and stuff but what's gonna happen is mentally you're gonna you're gonna want him you're gonna probably be infatuated or fall for this guy and it's not gonna go anywhere he's just gonna have loads of hoes you're just one of them um and mentally i don't know if it's gonna be the best decision for you and also at the time like i said i like i used to get rich um niggas all the time like it wasn't really I, I like this the, the reason this one is wow is because of the fame obviously the money's long but it was more the fame i hadn't had somebody that famous and i've never had someone that famous this is the most famous person i've ever spoken to so yeah so i had to just like check myself a little bit and just say it's not gonna go anywhere like you're just gonna end up crying over this guy but maybe you financially you gain and i just had to wear up my options and i kind of thought to myself i feel like financially i could gain in general from another like if i want it from a man i could gain from another guy like they're rich guys in my dms all the time so i don't want to be effed up over a guy that will never be with me um even though i started this and i dm'd him i really overthought it and i just decided to block him so he couldn't communicate with me and then one day i wanted to unblock him and maybe it was six months later and he'd block me back and if, even if i want to unblock the brother i can't because he's blocked me back um, I really appreciate if you unblock me. I'm not gonna lie. So if you watch this, please unblock me. But that's all I have to say on the matter. Like I said, guys, it was an amazing experience. Um, hopefully you guys can just like comment. Make sure even if you don't, you know, usually comment, you comment under this video. So, you know, interact with the video so the video does well. So that my ba someone sends it to my babes to say is she talking about you and so he can see and watch it and know that i want him to unblock me do you understand where i'm going with this and then when me and him get into a message situation and um i'm broken and in two years time i want to you know kill myself and whatever but we went to the bahamas and the maldives and he bought me a birkin i can come and tell you the story you do you see how you'll benefit from this because you'll get some tea and i'll benefit from it because i'll get a birkin do you see what i'm saying guys so make sure you guys comment below hold my algorithms make sure you like the video like the video so the video can do well so he can see it you, you, do you understand the logic here like comment share subscribe amazing he was treating me i can't explain it you know when I, when what's the word for a hoe a yap you know when a guy doesn't rate a girl like they what the f like he he is just a gentleman he just has respect for women because he did not wine and dine me like he met me in the dms i threw myself at him i was literally a groupie a fanny girl sorry guys my name is blocked. I was literally a groupie and a fangirl and he was so lovely to me. And do you know another thing that I really rate about him? I just, I hope he watches this. He probably won't, but he probably will though. Probably will. Because come on, like, you're going to watch it. Because someone is going to clock it to you when someone's going to send it to you and say, is this about you? And you're going to watch it. I know you will. I just want to say that he made me feel so at ease and he didn't disrespect me even though I was acting like a fan. I was acting like a fan girl. And some of the reasons I'm so cool, because a lot of, like, I sometimes see how I was with him. Sometimes I see people that can be a little bit low key like that with me. And um, they can get a little bit uncomfortable, uncomfortable around me. Or they think, when they meet me in person, they might think that I'm very, like, big headed or not that don't get me wrong me and him i can't compare like he's like legit like a1 but like i still get it to a certain extent especially from like school kids and i always have to show respect because like you know people teach how to treat people and he was so just like so much um what's the word when someone's got so much i don't, I don't, I don't know what the word is 
I don't know what the word is, just decorum. I, I ain't got, I'm not sure. But um, they just treated me like a, a, a human being. They are guys who treat regular guys on the block who treat girls more disrespectful even if the girl isn't on them and the girl just wants to have maybe casual sex or one night stand there are guys who are far worse there are guys who take a girl out um three four times and then finally get sex and be ruder than he was and i can literally was a fan girl a groupie and he was so respectful um thank god that was my experience with someone like that he was so wonderful i texted him when i got home he replied bro like he didn't have i don't think you guys understand who i'm talking about this guy is like a list like i was just just he's such a good person and it's just one of those memories in my brain i wish i could relive it i'm not gonna lie but it's one of those memories in my brain that i um I see it as positive and I it's, it's a nice memory it's a nice memory would I have a one night stand again hell to the no it, it, even if it's Obama I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold you <laughs> I don't give a fuck it could be Obama it could be Drake I don't give a what I don't give a what I don't give a fuck um it doesn't do anything for me like I said I really like to have connections I don't so I really don't care about clout and none of that stuff um however it's nice to know that I don't care about that 150 million percent because I've had it like sometimes people say stuff but you don't know until you've been in that situation and because I've been in that situation I definitely know that I prefer to have a connection with someone because I'm not because there was anything wrong with him or me but what was wrong in that situation is that I was so nervous I was so uncomfortable and I, I don't want to be I've always been nervous about around someone I like but I don't want to be so nervous and so uncomfortable that I'm literally I'm shaking that doesn't make no sense that's not cute and that doesn't make me feel good that and it should, I shouldn't feel so honored that you've texted me back that's not okay the whole hierarchy and the pedal stool that I put him on like that's just not it's just too much for me but I was young but yeah so that was what happened he's he and then a couple weeks later I just need to explain this to my babies in case he watches a couple weeks later um I ended up blocking him because we spoke a bit back and forth he said he wanted to see me again oh i must have given him really good slappy top i'm not gonna lie to you yes girl <laughs> you know a bitch a, a bitch know how to do it a bitch good like i just want to i just want you guys to know that a, a bitch good a bitch know what she doing I me mean, when i used to do it because i oh, it's been a while but um i, I don't have I, I don't have sex anymore i don't i don't participate in such activities um but yeah so I feel like, you know, obviously he probably clocked I was a sweet girl. It was a really good night. Um, but then I just had a feeling that I had, to, I had to sit down to myself and think to myself, he likes you to a certain extent. He probably thinks you're cute and maybe innocent low key and probably enjoyed it. So he probably does want to see you again. Maybe more than once, maybe more than twice, maybe more than three times. Maybe he'll see you for six months. Maybe he'll see you for four years. Maybe you'll be his side thing. Maybe one day you'll be his main thing. Who knows? But I had to sit down and talk to myself. And basically I said that I, I, I sat down and I had to reason with myself. And what the conclusion I came to, oh my God, do you know he, he, oh, oh, I can't give you that clue. Oh, damn, sorry. Never mind. Never mind. The conclusion I came to you after all of it was I predict that he is going to um he is going to um enjoy what what you're offering um like I said you're sweet you probably he probably finds you appealing like physically you give him what he needs um he might even spend a little bag on you because he's got it like he's so rich so he might even spend a little bag with you he might throw the other football i dated he he like had a whole wife i didn't even know but he had a whole wife and he used to throw a bag at me every time he saw me so this one and this one is like 10 20 50 times richer than him so girl yeah on christmas you you might see three grand in your account like he might nice you and stuff but what's gonna happen is mentally you're gonna you're gonna want him you're gonna probably be infatuated or fall for this guy and it's not gonna go anywhere he's just gonna have loads of hoes you're just one of them 
um and mentally i don't know if it's gonna be the best decision for you and also at the time like i said i like i used to get rich um niggas all the time like it wasn't really i, I like this the, the reason this one is wow is because of the fame obviously the money's long but it was more the fame i hadn't had somebody that famous and I've never had someone that famous. This is the most famous person I've ever spoken to. So, yeah, so I had to just, like, check myself a little bit and just say, it's not going to go anywhere. Like, you're just going to end up crying over this guy. But maybe you financially you'll gain. And I just had to wear up my options. And I kind of thought to myself, I feel like financially I could gain in general from another... Like, if I want it from a man, I could gain from another guy. Like, they're rich guys in my DMs all the time. So I don't want to be effed up over a guy that will never be with me. Um, even though I started this and I DM'd him, I really overthought it and I just decided to block him so he couldn't communicate with me. And then one day I wanted to unblock him, and maybe it was six months later, and he'd block me back. And if, even if I want to unblock the brother, I can't because he's blocked me back. Um, I really appreciate if you unblock me, I'm not gonna lie. So if you watch this, please unblock me, but that's all I have to say on the matter. Like I said, guys, it was an amazing experience. Um, hopefully you guys can just like make sure even if you don't you know usually comment you comment under this video so you know interact with the video so the video does well so that my ba someone sends it to my babes to say is she talking about you and so he can see and watch it and know that I want him to unblock me do you understand where I'm going with this and then when me and him get into a message situation and um I'm broken and in two years time I want to you know kill myself and whatever but we went to the Bahamas and the Maldives and he bought me a Birkin I can come and tell you the story you do you see how you'll benefit from this because you'll get some tea and I'll benefit from it because I'll get a Birkin do you see what I'm saying guys so make sure you guys comment below hold my algorithms make sure you like the video like the video so the video can do well so he can see it you, you, do you understand the logic here? Like, comment, share, subscribe. Guys, purchase your If a guy's always on my case, trying to be up in my face, what I call that guy? He a pussy watch man. Got the line, an unknown called another 50 times. That's a crime on my life. He a pussy watch man.